The Networks is a card drafting board game for two to five players. This game is played over five seasons. I'll demonstrate a four player game and list three players or below changes at the end. The five player game plays very similar to a four player game. For four players, set up the board so the scoreboard finds sequence. Begin the 66 to 100 side on zero. Place the Season 1 marker on the Season Track, and then Shuffle and Deal Season 1 Show Cards indicated on the Score 0 card. This changes per player. You'll repeat the Season's Shuffle every new season. Shuffle and place the remaining listed cards on the Score Card 0. Keep in mind, if you aren't playing with advanced rules, remove the advanced cards listed on star cards and network cards. Each player chooses a color and collects the matching tokens and starter sets. For this example, I'll be representing red team, but the rules follow for every color. This is your player board. On the right is your time slots, which you'll fill with your starter TV shows. Place a black cube on top of the viewer slot of each card. Place your starter ad and actor in the green room. Take money based off the amount listed on the score zero card depending on your turn order. Gameplay. Each season you'll take turns choosing one of the cards listed here, signing more ads or actors to shows, or drop in budgeting. I'll start by describing a few cards. Show card. Far right shows desired time frame. If your show doesn't meet desired time, use the second number. There's also viewers per season, price, end of the season cost, prerequisites, genre, and rerun value. With actor cards, you'll notice they similarly have cost and upkeep amount. They'll offer you more viewers, and they may have conditions that if not met means you flip the card. When you flip the card, you'll have less viewers. Ads are different. This is money received right away, and this is money received at the end of the season, but everything else follows suit to the actor cards. Network cards are special powers. When receiving this for your action, collect what the card offers. These symbols will be listed here. These symbols down here are for a 1-2 to two player game. You'll notice the time frames listed here for show purchases. These green room cards act as prerequisites for shows. For shows, you can buy a show when you have the necessary components. Star for stars, money sign for ads, either or, and a must and a may. When you purchase a new show, this will push your old show into reruns. Make sure to flip it. The block associated with that time moves to season one and you begin the next player's turn. No matter what season you buy a card, a new show will always be season one. Every so often you'll run into a show that offers an optional prerequisite as a turn action. You may place actors or ads on them, or replace actors or ads from pre-existing, depending on what action you'd like to take. Fast forward to the end of the season. I'll collect viewers based off the block's location and time frame for TV shows. I'll gain the rerun show views, plus actors and ads. I'll then receive my ad profit then calculate how much my upkeep is and move the difference to the bank or keep it. Once everyone has received points, flip the score zero card to the 66 side. Once finished with that, move the season tracker to two, age your television shows to the next season, and move your reruns to the archives. They no longer receive views at the end of your seasons. Drop in budget is what ends your season. When a player drops in budgets, they will secure the farthest left spot available on the center point card. Choose to either receive views or money based off how far left you are on that spot on the 66 to 100 card. You'll also be first next round. When the season ends, set up for the next season. Quick overview of turns. You can buy actors, buy ads, buy television shows, play ads or actors, and drop in budget. You get one action per turn, player to your left takes their action. You continue this until everybody has chosen the drop in budget option. Once done that, move on to the next season. A few fun facts. If you develop three or five shows of the same genre, gain a viewer bonus of five points. Archived, reruns, or in-game cards count. For three players, remove the following star cards. Police Procedural, Soap Opera Star, Intense Dramatic Actor, and Square Jaw Dramatic Actor. For a one and two player game, you'll use this centerpiece for two players and the regular one for one player. For two players, Burn a card every three turns you play. Flip a network card to reveal burned cards. For one player, place five black cubes across the top of the season section. You'll have a similar burn mechanic as you would with two players, but this will be at the end of every turn. 
If the network card burns sections that no longer have a card, remove a black cube from the top of the season section and place it on that leftmost section. Up in budget before reaching the fifth black cube where you lost. Place color markers on season 2, season 4, and season 6. Place the correlating colors on 65 and 100 in sequential order. By end of season 2, have 65 points to remove a cube from the season section. End of season 4, have 100 to remove a cube from the season section. Reach 265 viewers at the end of the season 5, and you win. After 5 seasons, whoever has the most viewers wins. One viewer per unattached star, most money breaks ties.